you're in a powerless position as you're watching you know, a parent die progressively over a long period of time. And it's got quite heart-wrenching. My mother was diagnosed with MS in the mid-70s. I'd actually been on a climb and suffered the, uh, the effects of altitude. And when I got back, I actually realized that a lot, of the, a lot of the altitude sickness symptoms are very similar to MS. I figured if I could get through that, that's something like my mom deals with every day. I could put together a program where people would go and, and challenge themselves, but also to really challenge themselves to raise a lot of money for a really good cause. I'm Roxanne Garal from Edmonton. I'm climbing my name for is Christine Gaddy. Gaddy. I'm climbing Mount Kelly for Two Good Families. Hi, my name is Kathy Hopner, and I am climbing Mount Kilimanjaro. Ralph uh, is one of the top fundraisers at the MS Society. And from an individual event perspective, uh, he's now multiplied himself through uh, 38 other climbers. The time it took for me to generate the idea to actually get people on a plane uh, to go to Peru was pretty much exactly two years. There were many points through the two years where I thought I was nuts. When people uh, criticize or critique the idea, I sort of made them as teachers. It's not until you actually open yourself up to criticism and people's input that you really have a chance to learn quite a bit from what you're doing. The people who really uh, get me the most um, are two women that we have on this year who both have MS and, um, and they're taking on the climb despite um, their illness and um, it really speaks to me. They're doing it for their families and they're doing it for other people with MS. That's why the goal to achieve this is really important to me because as Paul said it, the reality is you don't know what's going to happen in the future so you have to live in the now and do the best you can and do it as positively and as happily as you can. My kind of secret goal is to raise a million dollars every year. So when I do leave the program, it's actually le you know, raising a million dollars a year. And to walk away from something that's doing that well, it's pretty good feeling. And that's how I want to leave it. Like I want to leave it rolling on as a national program. My advice to anyone is you've got a good idea. Like be committed to it. Just build your own passion about it. Because passion feeds more passion. And then through that feeds action. But it's easy to fall off of action if you really haven't got a fire in your belly about it. Thank you.